Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the Carrier Infinity Control Infinity System and why it is so awesome. So, this is pretty much the heart of the Carrier Infinity System, the Infinity Control itself. It is uh, the user's uh, center point, I guess, of interface with the system. <coughs> Excuse me. And the uh, unique thing about the Carrier System is that it communicates to each piece of equipment using it, what they call the ABCD bus. So that means only four wires are used to uh, connect each piece of the system. So even though I have a uh, two-stage heat, one-stage cool system here at my house, um, I only need four wires in between the, uh, the furnace and the uh, infinity control. So um, flip down this door. So you got a couple buttons here, your program buttons and your setup buttons. <coughs> and uh, you know, it's it's pretty it's you know like a thermostat. It's got, you know, temperature up, temperature down. Um, it can do temporary holds because I have a program right now. So you can increase the hold time, decrease the hold time, do a permanent hold, and take it off. And um, you can program a schedule in if you like. I currently have it set to uh do a seven day schedule, so different schedule for each day of the week. Um, and you can do either one for the same schedule every day, different schedule for weekdays and weekends, or you can do different schedule every day. And as you can see, you can program individual heat and cool temperatures. And there's four periods, or four, yeah, four periods per day. And you can also <coughs> program in fan speeds as well. So as you can see here, I've got the fan programmed for medium speed throughout the day, and then at night, when this space is unoccupied, it goes to auto automatically, and you don't have to adjust it yourself. So that's the schedule. Uh, vacation lets you set, set up a, a temporary vacation. So if I was going on vacation for five days, I could set up for five days, put the heat out, whatever I like, <coughs> and it'll automatically hold there for five days, and then when you get home it'll already be warmed back up so I'll go ahead and get out of this no I don't want, I wish I was going on vacation um, your basic setup um, just let you set the clock what day it is and how much what your uh, humidity preference is right now I've got it set on uh, three bars automatic control and in advanced you've got uh, reminders for your filter and humidifier pad and those will depend on what options you have installed in your system um, backlighting, you can turn that on and off. You can turn the uh, little heat and cool indica indicator LEDs on and off here. And these will actually uh, pulsate when um, actively heating or cooling. Adjust the display contrast to your liking. Uh, set your heating humidity. And you can set the humidity to auto mode or manual mode. So if you set it to manual, you're setting it to an actual percentage. If you set it to auto, it'll automatically change that percentage based on what the outside temperature is. <coughs> uh, same thing with cooling. Set it uh, to what you want, and if you turn dehumidify on, it'll um, actively overcool your house up to 3 degrees to get better dehumidification control. And lastly, your vacation setup. Set your maximum minimum temperatures, maximum minimum humidity, and what you would like the fan to be set on. So that's advanced for you. And uh, on the main screen, as you can see, it tells you your actual temperature, day, time, what the heat is set at, what period it currently is, your outside temperature, and your current fan speed. And it'll go to this low uh, lighting level when it hasn't been used in a little while. And if you press this little button up here, you can see the indoor humidity, currently 43% in my house. And if you press the fan button right here, you can change the fan speed. So right now, change it to high, you'll hear the fan speed up. Speed up. And slow it back down to low. much quieter. Go ahead and reset it back to medium. And um, obviously you got your heat and cool controls right here. Little color-coded buttons so you can set it to heat, you can set it to cool, 
or if you press them both together, you can set it to auto mode. So now it's set to um, heat at 69, cool at 74, following the program. Or you can turn the system off, so it just turns everything off then. Go ahead and set it back to heat. <coughs> and uh, this button over here is a directional arrow button, or if you press and hold it, you'll go to this accessory status screen where it'll display your uh, whoever installed your uh, system and uh, their service phone number and then the um, it'll tell you how much your filter has been used how much your humidifier pad has been used and the filter usage is actually based on how much uh, static pressure the system is moving air against because it uses a uh, variable speed ECM blower so it'll judge that based on um, you know the RPM and how much static pressure there is of that and um, it's actually running through a system check right now I believe so it'll run the blower for one minute <coughs> every day at 1 p.m. or when you switch it from off to heat or off to cool just to um, go ahead and check the uh, filter level how uh, dirty it is and if I press on the right button also a directional arrow okay so it's done with the check now so this is the status screen it tells you the status of everything so it tells you your outside temperature what mode it's in heat obviously what, if the furnace is on high uh, first stage or low second stage or high and off it tells you the fans on your indoor humidity your target humidity <coughs> and it lets you know whether the humidifier is on or off and I'll go ahead and back out of that. So that's the uh, Infinity Control. Um, it's very awesome. I really like it a lot. It's much more than just a thermostat. It really is a use user interface. And in another vid video, I'll show you why it's really awesome for uh, people installing it and uh, service people for when they come to PM your heating and cooling systems. Thanks for watching.